How about we pick up somewhere around where we left off last week at the Meridian RV Resort in Apache Junction, Arizona. We are headed to Mesa, Arizona and another Encore Park. It's a really nice one called Monta Vista RV Resort. Got your baby. It doesn't take us long to set up and get into our groove. Christopher is getting set up to shoot a recipe video, and I'll let you know right now, it's really tasty. Quick and easy to make. It's inexpensive, and it's good for you. Plus, it's got a whole lot of taste to it. Grizz and he are out every morning for their walks, exercise, and practice as we all settle into our new park. Hang around and learn one more delicious recipe that he served to the firefighters at his station. So we get a lot of questions about different things that we cook. I've already put out a couple of different uh, recipe videos. Some of the things that I used to do when I was working at the fire station. And this happens to be another one of those things. The advantage to it and RV life is that it was quick and easy to make. It's inexpensive and it's good for you. Plus it's got a whole lot of taste to it. What we're going to make today is called, we called affectionately, Chicken and Jeanette. Now, I was a truckie. I was on a ladder company, and the engine companies we nicknamed as Enginettes. The ladder guys, they called truck monkeys. So in honor of the engine companies that helped to serve our ladders on big structure fires and that helped us out with all of our first aid calls, we're going to go over what I used to make on the department for a wonderful meal that everybody really liked. All it takes is one chicken breast for firefighter or RVer. It takes uh, a can of whole green chilies. Any brand, it doesn't matter. And if you can't find the whole, you can actually even use diced green chilies. I love Kinder's because it's back to basics. It's just salt, pepper, and garlic, all in one nice easy sprinkle. You'll need a little extra salt for the water for your potatoes because we're also going to cook what I call grilled smashed potatoes. And you're going to need some good olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I like this Graza. It works really well. And I love the squirt bottle for an applicator. So basically all we're going to do is bring the chicken out, cut the extra fat off. Once we've got the fat off, then we're going to go ahead and sprinkle a little olive oil on it, rub it in good, take the kinders, sprinkle the kinders over the chicken, put it on a plate, take it out, and we're going to cook it with a little bit of a twist on our pellet grill smoker, our Pit Boss 150 outside. And then once we're just about done, we'll have the potatoes on the stove boiling to about 70% done, 60 to 70%. Then we'll bring them outside after we've strained out the water and we'll put them on the griddle and use our bacon smasher to smash the potatoes down. And then we'll griddle them until they get a nice, constant little bit of a crispy crunch to the outside of it. And we'll also use some kinders on that as well. So it's quick, it's easy, it's tasty, 
it's wonderful and it's inexpensive. What else could go wrong for an RV recipe that comes from firefighters? Kinder's the olive oil. And one other thing, I always, when I'm dealing with chicken, make sure that I've got a thermometer. We're gonna be certain that we've got that chicken to 160 degrees before we pull it off and put it on the griddle with the rest of the stuff. There's the chicken. It'll be on for about 10 or 15 minutes on this side, then we'll flip it another 10 or 15 minutes. When the temperature inside reaches 160 degrees, then it'll go to the griddle. And we'll start adding the chilies and the Philadelphia cream cheese and the mozzarella to it. Sixty. Sometimes you get your RV washed and you don't have to do it yourself. This gentleman is working his arse off and doing an amazing job. Very impressed. Oh yeah, one other thing. Riz has definitely been curious. He didn't quite understand, but it is interesting to him. I mean, you don't have a whole bunch of people to help you dry off an RV. What's the next best thing to do? Get a really powerful ink blower out. 